will recap possibly for Missouri. Teams facing Arkansas this week. Any questions, y'all can take it away. For both of y'all, what has the addition of Amelia at the coaching staff kind of been like? And maybe what are some of the ways she kind of specifically helps y'all? Oh, meals. We love her. <laughs> she brings all the energy. Everywhere I look, she's right there. Um, she's just been the best addition to the team. We're really lucky to have her. She's a very good technical coach, too. So it's nice to have her in our corner. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> Heading into this week, um, what can, what, what's the biggest point of emphasis that you guys are trying to improve on? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, our word last week was just being crisp. Um, I think we're good enough that we can dive into the little details, and that's what's going to matter at the end. So just every week getting a little bit better, 1% better in those aspects will carry us through the way we want to. In the opening week, y'all faced number five, UCLA. Last week, y'all faced number three, Missouri. What's it like having that experience against two top five teams throughout the game? Yeah, I think it's really cool to start out like that. If you want to be the best, you got to go up against the best. So I think getting that practice in now is going to set it up, set us up the best uh, in the best position for the end of the year. Yeah, it's also just like a confidence booster because week one and two, we went up against the top five teams and came out on top. So. Um, yeah, I think that just gives us all a huge confidence and going forward we know that we can, you know, go against anybody and come out on top and not only that, um, I think we don't even think about the win, we just think about doing us and yeah, and that's what we've been doing and I think it's just working for us, we're just doing us. For Macari. The four of y'all, the super seniors that came back, just how special was it to have all four of y'all competing in Coleman on, on Friday? And then just kind of what leadership approach are y'all taking this year? Yeah. Um, no, it was awesome going back in Coleman. We love Coleman. We love seeing everybody there. Um, I think before we walked out, we kind of just looked at each other and just smiled. And we always give, our, give each other a little fist bump. So um, I think it was just super special to have the opportunity to go back out there and compete. Um, and what was the second question? I'm sorry. Like how are y'all kind of approaching leadership this year? Oh yeah. Year? Um, I don't know. I think we kind of are approaching it the same way we did last year, but um, I don't know. We're just we really wanted to emphasize like being a family and best friends, and I think we've really done that this year. But also we have the best senior class, so there's so much, so many of us just like taking on that role, and we all lead in different ways, and um, I think that's really special because not or leading doesn't look one way. So having that many leadership roles and that many people on the team that all bring different things is just really cool to see. Kari, I was watching the um, beat replay um, on ESPN and they did a little feature on you and Jameson. Can you just talk about your guys' relationship and what it means to be able to compete with her? Yeah, um, we met in 2019 at the Nasia Cup. Um, she was just this little fireball and nothing's changed since then. Um, but yeah, like I said, like she's my little sister and I couldn't imagine doing this without her. And I never thought I was gonna take a fifth year and she always told me, she's like, no, Carter, you're gonna take a fifth year because you have to compete with me. And I was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> now here we are. So um, yeah, she's my little lucky charm. And yeah, I just love her so much, but it's awesome to compete with her um, because we haven't really since 2019, so yeah. Feeding off of that, it was y'all's class's last first home opener in Coleman, Special's class first ever home opener. What's that like? Mm, sad. Don't Very bring sad. That up. I know. Lily hates when I school when we talk about anything <laughs> last. She's like, no. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, it was just super special. Um, I think we just were living in the moment and just taking it for what it was and just looking around and seeing everybody like you know we're not going to have this team again so having this team and going out there one last well first home meet <laughs> um it was just special that's really all i can say it's just special y'all have open sec play the season with two straight home meets does that before traveling to an sec meet does that kind of help anything with like preparation wise at all i think it's just nice to be at home two weeks in a row. We don't have to we don't have to travel. We can be uh, on our home turf and just get the, the rest that we need to be able to go compete at our best at Florida the following week. 
for a little late talking about being at home, you obviously have the, the floor music that's kind of Alabama themed. How did that end up happening? Did you choose that? Was it assigned to you? And kind of what input did you have in, in the floor music? So I, Emily Gaskins had it uh, all throughout her career. And I, last year, I was like, I want to keep that tradition going. And I had a great time with it last year and then put a new like, like twist on it uh, this year. And it's just the best feeling ever. Competing it in Coleman is, is why I do it. <laughs> it's why, it, I mean, it makes getting booed at Auburn worth it. <laughs> that feeling of after my first pass, when Sweet Home starts playing, and the whole like arena just erupts is the best thing ever. Um, is there any upgrades or anything that fans should be expecting from y'all this season? Like upgrades and like routines or um, that sort of thing? I don't know about upgrades. <laughs> Our team is an upgrade as a whole, so yes. you should definitely come watch us. Um, but no, uh, yeah, at home, our student section, again, is down on the floor, which is new. Um, and that very much helps us <laughs> competing. And seeing you guys right there is just, um, I don't know, it's the game changer. So I think that's really all the new things. <laughs> yeah, I think um, our routines kind of just stay consistent. We're focused on getting one tenth better um, everywhere. So upgrades, just kind of improving and bettering ourselves every day. Really cool freshman team. Next. Speaking of freshmen, what about Chloe? Back to back, nine nines or higher, lead off. Star. She's just perfect. We she's love her. The impact that she's already made, um, not even just gymnastics, but from a leadership perspective, especially that young, is really impactful to our team. Uh, so we're lucky to have her. She is very wise. She is like the most wise little girl I've ever seen in my life. Like she's just amazing. Like some of the stuff that comes out of her mouth, I'm just like. The, like where did that come from but yeah she the leadership that she's brought to our team is just incredible um, and we're lucky to have her what is the team expecting out of Arkansas this week quick little preview I mean they're a great team we respect them a lot uh, it's three versus four so it's gonna be a lot of great gymnastics and we're just really excited yeah. anything else all right thank you thank, thank you. you guys roll time roll